typically have to turn off the lights. And I do typically have to clean the slides. Bear with me here. Software real quick. Right now you see black. I better turn the microscope off. Remember, uh, do you remember your microscope lab? What's uh, the magnification you start with always? Low, medium, or high? Yeah, low, which is 4x or 40x total. I'll just go to my slide collection here. This is simple squamous epithelial tissue from the lung. So let me point out what you're looking at in lung tissue. This is a low mag. The tiniest airways are called the alveolar spaces. You don't need to know that. These little tiny air sacs here. These larger airways are bronchioles. You don't need to know that yet. But we want to know this for simple squamous ET. So what I'm going to do is try to get high mag under one of these little tiny spaces. This is low. magnification. Let me get it a little more focus. That's pretty sharp. Maybe some white balance. Yeah, that's cool to find capture. Boom. All right. So we move on. Always go back to low when you're done with the slide. Turn your thing down and next one. All right. The next one is a um, simple cuboidal. Anyone remember the organ that we used in lecture? Kidney. Let me see if this is kidney. Mm, not sure. Yeah, this is kidney. I mean, it doesn't look like human kidney. Well, it depends when they cut it. Yeah, that's kidney. Well, anyways, we just want to know it as simple cuboidal. Oh, it's got some dust on it. Okay, that's low mag. Uh, nothing much to see there. We go medium. I'm seeing those tiny little holes, and it's lined with the cuboidal epithelium. Let me go high. This slide has a nasty scratch. I'll try not to take a picture of that. Balance. Okay, picture. 
All right, so you know what you're looking at. Do you see the simple cuboidals? Where I would indicate, if we're pointing to it, to identify is right there, because you're looking at that tissue right there, or right there, that's pretty good. One layer of cuboidal shaped cells. Notice the large round nuke. You barely see cytoplasm around it. Okay. And move it on. This is simple columnar, and there should be some cilia here. Low mag, I'm going to get this bad boy to focus. Like, you got to know where to look. Well, on this particular slide, I got it right here. Now, do you see that clear space and all that tissue kind of in the middle? And then there's a dark purple around the tissue. See the lining around this tissue? I'm thinking that's what we're looking for, simple columna. I'm thinking this is oviduct, maybe? I'm not sure. They don't say on this slide. I'm guessing oviduct. OK, that's low. Let me go to high. You got to go to high to see the simple columna. So here's medium. You know what? It's not pretty enough. I'm going to get another one. Just don't like it. Try one more. Hopefully it doesn't look exactly the same. Oh, it looks exactly the same. Well, it's a different slide. Let's see what we get out of it. <coughs> of this, but um, let's see if I find a better one, too. Let's see. No. I'm sorry, say it again. Um, that, that, that's a possibility. 
I, I haven't made a lot of practical slides yet, but if I'm giving them to you, I guess you better know. I, I guess that's my point. And they could be used for a quiz and or lab practical, should I decide that. And if you know them, you're prepared. For example, if I gave you a bunch of slides and you didn't study them, why would you do that? I would just study them. Picture of that. So let me point out to make sure you see the epithelium. One layer of columnar shaped cells. I think I like this row on the bottom the best. Right there. And this is all connective tissue underneath it. Right, so that's what we're looking for there. Now they say it's ciliated. You can barely see it. If a student didn't put ciliated, I wouldn't mark them off because it's not clear. But I would like it better if they put it. Because it is there if you look hard enough. But I want to move on. And the next slide is trachea. The trachea will show us the uh, pseudostratified epithelium. Mm, nice. This is low mag. Now you're cutting the trachea. Um, the trachea has these rings in it. Now if you were to look at that, the epithelium is the lining. Do you think it's at the top edge or the bottom edge? If you had to guess. But don't guess. It's staring there right at you. Is the epithelium down here or up here? Top or bottom? Top. So when you're working with the slides, say, oh, yeah. The dark, I the dark nuclei, even under low mag, get that under 400x. Okay, these big things, these are the the stiff cartilage rings that keep your airway open. So when you suck air through it, your airway doesn't collapse. So we'll get the cartilage later, but the epithelium is right there. So I'm going to put that under 400x. This is this, this is 40x. <coughs> I see a, a gland going up to the surface, but this is our, and there's a lot of layers in there, but it's not. It's pseudostratified. It's not stratified. This is pseudostratified columnar epithelial tissue from there to there. You see all that hairy stuff up there? Ciliated, so call it ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelial tissue. I even see a little goblet cell in there. I don't see too many though, I usually see more. You should always put which goblet cells, they're there, they're always hiding from you. Um, but that's not bad, I've seen better trachea though. This is from, um, well, it's a stratified squamous ET. So I don't know where it's from, but let's take a look. I'll guess. It's either tongue or epiglottis. Take a look.
Right, this is low mag. Okay, I, I'm guessing now at low mag. I'm thinking all of that steak on the bottom looks like steak. It's probably skeletal muscle. And I'm thinking that's the epithelium up there. This is the epithelium. This is what we're going for here. But I want to look at that because I'm curious. I think it's muscle. And if it's muscle, this is tongue. So um, for muscle, I'm going to take a picture because muscle's coming. You got another muscle for the future lecture. The fibers run horizontal across the <coughs> across the field of vision, but I'm standing right here and I can see these vertical lines. Those are the striations. That's how I know this is muscle. But the fibers are running this way. You see how muscle is multinucleated? All these nuclei within muscle. You need a lot of nuclei because you got to make all those muscle fibers that make your muscles strong. So this happens to be tongue. Let's go to the top. I'm going to go back out to 100 and uh, here's what we want. That's cool. 400. Slide. Evaluate the apical cells. Oh, that's what I would say. I'll probably point to these top layers here and have you identify it. Stratified squamous epithelium. This is tongue. A couple more. This is a thick skin. Under a low mag, you can even see the keratinizing layer on the very top. Like, I'm going to point to it with the mouse pointer. See that? That's keratinizing right there. But let, let's go under a high mag. Well, this is 100x. Maybe that'll be high enough. Uh, now, let's go 400. Actually, that's too big. Let's, let's back it off. All right, that's good. Uh, yeah, a little less exposure. All right, so the keratinizing stratified squamous epithelium from top to bottom. There to there, pretty much, right? So that right there, that's the keratinizing part. So you have to put it as keratinizing. That is thick skin, either from the palm or the sole of the foot, depending on where they got it. Palm or sole. Yeah, the bottom of your foot. Okay, let's move on. Transitional. As always, you got to know where to look. And um, I'm going to use the mouse to show where I'm. See this right there, where I'm circling right there? That's the tissue right there. I think this is your reader. So I'm going to get this tissue under a high mag. That's low, is medium. Nice. 
nice. Let's go uh, 400. I'm going to look for that bionucleated cell, see if I can find one. I usually never do. So that's transitional. It's a, it's a stratified epithelium, and it's the only one that looks like that. These big waves. Because remember, this tissue can stretch. So when the bladder fills, those folds stretch out. So you, when you have a full bladder. Okay. So I'll, uh, give me some time. I'll, I'll put those on canvas today, those images. But um, before I give you, you don't have a whole lot of lab time, but don't worry. Remember, when does that lab do? Yeah, Monday, so you got plenty of time to get checked off. And I wasn't even going to check you off today. Students always ask me, well, how can I practice this? Because you're not labeling the slides for me, which is a fair point. Uh, look at Powell on Pearson. Let me queue it up. 